In the previous lecture, you understand how to work with anonymous function. In this lecture, we're going to understand the path module in Python. The path module helps us to work on local directories of the project. On path modules, you have some amazing method that can help you to find the path of the file, get the directory name and so on. So let's get started and see how to work with path module in Python. I'm going to show you some simple example to understand how to work with it. So let's take a look at a very simple example of path module. So to work with path module, you need to first import it. So I'm going to say here import and import the OS module. So if you want to work with path module, you need to first import the OS module here. You can access the path module using OS module. So down here, I'm going to just simply say here os.path and then I'm going to call a method join. I will explain what is the use of this method later. But just for now, just specify some values to it. Here I'm going to say a, comma b and comma c. Join is a very important method when working on a large project. Let me just execute this file and show you the result first. Let me grab this statement and put this in the print just like this. When I execute this file, I'm going to have the result something like this. It's going to join all the strings and return a path. The advantage of using this OS path module is that it allows the code to remain compatible over all operating system. If you just take a look at this result, then you can notice this is appropriate for the Windows operating system. If you are working on Unix, the result will something look like this. You get the forward slash instead of the backslash. So this is the advantage of using this OS path module. So you can notice here, this join method is going to combine all these characters and return a path for the window. Now what if I specify some address instead of this string, then I'm going to have the absolute path of my file. So for example, if I just get rid of this ABC right from here and if I just specify here os.getcwd in the previous lectures we understand how to work with os module and we also understand how to work with getcwd method. I'm going to call this method and specify here comma and then I'm going to pass my file name here. You can notice in my project I have this f1.txt. I'm going to just call this file name right here. In the single code I'm going to say f1.txt. When I execute this file, you can notice I'm going to have the path of this f1.txt file. You can notice here. I'm going to have the absolute path of this file. Using this getcwd, I'm going to get the path of this file and I'm going to join both this file and this path using the join method. So this method is going to first get this first argument and this argument is going to return this path. And then this join method is going to get this f1.txt and bind both these path together and return this result. So you are going to get the absolute path of your file. Let me show you how to get the directory of the current file path. So you can notice the directory of this current file path is this tutorial folder. Let me just get this directory using this OS path module. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say here print and inside this print I'm going to say OS dot path dot directory name and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just store this statement inside a variable p is equal to and I'm going to just store this statement inside this variable and I'm going to just pass this variable right here just like that. Now when I execute this file you can notice here I'm going to have the tutorial folder as a result. Now I want to get the file name as a result. I can do that very easily using OS path module. So I'm going to duplicate this statement and right here instead of this directory name, I'm going to just say here base name, just like this. When I execute this file, I'm going to have f1.txt as a result. So this base name method is going to return the file name as a result from the path. Now what if I want to get the path, I'm going to just simply say here print statement and in this print, I'm going to just simply say os.path and I'm going to just call a simple method split. And in this split, I'm going to say os.getcwd. When I execute this file, you can notice I'm going to get the tuple as a result. And in this tuple, I'm going to have the path and the folder name. Now, what if we want to get the file name and its extension separately? You can easily do that with this split method. Down here, if I just say print, and inside this print, if I say os.path.split text. And just out of that here, I'm going to say os.path, I'm going to call the os.path module again. 
and inside it i'm going to call base name p as you know the base name is going to return the file name and then i'm going to pass it to this split text method when i execute this file you can notice i'm going to have file name f1 and the extension of this file name so if you want to find out the extension of your file name you can easily use this statement for that now if you're working on files sometimes you will get an error message if the file does not exist or if the file path is not exist in that case you can check the path before using it for example let me just get it of this statement and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just simply create here a variable dr name direct to name and here i'm going to pass a path so here i'm going to say home forward slash john and then i'm going to pass here python now suppose i have this path in this directory but this path is not a valid path i don't have this path in my local system so if you try to access this path and try to work on it you're going to get an error message and to find the path is valid or not you need to say here os.path dot is directory so you need to first check is this is a valid directory then return true or false so here i'm going to say directory name execute this file i'm going to get false as a result because i don't have this path in my local directory this is an invalid path so this statement is going to return false as a result if this path is valid then i'm going to have true as a result so before working on path you need to first check the path is exist in the local system or not now just for that you can do the same thing with file as well so for example if you have here a variable and in this variable you have a path something like this you have the directory name i'm going to call this directory name path and then i'm going to concatenate the file name here so here i'm going to say main.py just like this and i want to check this path is exist in the local system or not to do that i'm going to say here print os.path dot is file to check the file is exist in the local system or not i'm going to use is file method and here i'm going to pass file name path just like this when i execute this file i'm going to get false as a result because as you know this file is not exist in this path so i'm going to get false as a result now what if you want to get the relative path from the absolute path so for example let me just get rid of this statement and just see here print os dot get cwd then you can notice this statement is going to return the absolute path of this file right so this statement is going to return the absolute path of this index.py file now what i want i want to get the relative path from this absolute path so what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply say here print os dot path then i'm going to call absolute path method and here i'm going to pass a single code and say foo just like this and execute this file i'm going to have the path of my foo.txt file now what i want i want to access this foo.txt file from this pycharm project path so what i need to do is i need to first exit from this tutorial directory and then specify this pycharm project directory i'm going to just duplicate this statement and inside this foo i'm going to just simply say double dot forward slash so now this foo.txt file refers to the parent directory so when i execute this file you can notice i have the path of this foo.txt file inside this pycharm project so this file is now refers to the parent directory path and now what if you want to get the relative path of this file you can just simply duplicate this statement and instead of this double dot just get rid of this double dot and just specify forward slash foo and when i execute this file you're going to get just a foo as a result so this is your relative path of this file so i hope you understand how to work with os module in python to practice with these different functions and understand how this work in python that is all for now i will see you in the next one